Hey guys, welcome back to fm8tutorials.com. This is part three of the effects feature we've been doing this month on FM8, making uplifters, downlifters, impacts, and sweeps and stuff using FM8. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this kind of it's kind of like a down and uplifter, really. So it's a Plenty of modulation going on there within that sound so let's start off create a new sound in FMA and program the operator section so for operator F I'm going to route this through the filter at full volume and route the filter to the output of full volume of 100 as well um, and take the ratio of operator F to 0.2488 so it's going to be detuned a little bit uh, I'm going to select a sawtooth waveform and um, we can actually just push the cut off of this filter up for now so you can hear the top end. I'm also going to feed operator F back into itself as well at 26. It's just bringing out some of the top end in that waveform. So next up operator E, turn that on. and it's going to feed this back into itself about 13, 14 and route it through to Z at about 79 and we're going to have a sawtooth again for this waveform the ratio is going to be 0 0.2513 so it's detuned from operator F so you're going to get that nice kind of detuned sort of tone on the sound um, operator D next, turn that on, uh, feed this back into itself about 22 and route this to the filter about 63, 64 and again we're going to use a sawtooth for this waveform uh, but take the ratio to 0.75 it's getting quite a nice sort of electro kind of chord in there now so next up operator C, uh, turn that on, route that to the filter at full volume 100 and let's go to the ratio here for C, 0.5 on the ratio and I'm going to use the PWM ramp mod for the waveform. So I'm routing it to the filter, I'm also going to route it to the output 100 and that will become clear later on when we start programming the envelopes and stuff for this sound in the filter so next up operator B turn that on route straight to the oh, we'll route through to the filter at around 39 and I'm going to put the ratio to 1.2 so it's quite sun quiet in there but you can hear a bit of that sort of chord character um, sawtooth again key sync this one it's getting that nice consistent tone on that operator and then operator A can just stay the same really ratio of one waveform is sine turn it on and I'm just going to route this to the filter about 80 I'm also going to route it into F 42 feed it back into itself at 21 and route it straight to the output at 66 okay so let's move to the master section next to make the sound monophonic two voices take the detune off but just put, push the pan up so getting a nice wide sound and this digital as well to just bring a bit of kind of top end crunch into the sound all right so let's move to the envelope section next okay so for starters let's set up envelope A uh, I'm going to tempo sync this envelope and um, drag the sustain point out to the 3 over 8 and then just pull it right down check it to fixed 
actually we're just going to put a bit of release on there, tiny amount of release, pull the sustain off uh, and let's set up a sustain loop so add another pointer in here so now we'll get a you can hear that sort of loop in here. and I'm actually going to bring the noise into the sound now as well it's going to use this noise so let's set this up quickly as well so bring the amp of this up to around 30 so we get a bit of noise in there push the cut off up to full volume 100 let's root some of this noise into the filter so we can hear it uh, and also we'll root into the filter about 25 root it to the output about 70 so you can hear that noise a bit more now so yeah everything else can stay the same but if we move back to this envelope section let's link this noise to the envelope A what we set up there and then tempo sync that as well so um, we're getting a bit loud there so just pull the volume down a bit so envelopes A, envelopes A and X are kind of like it's almost like a triplet and they're just kind of looping over and they've got quite a tight sort of plucky envelope shape so next up Envelopes F. So you can just pull the release out on this a little bit. Uh, and then link E, D, and B as well. So So envelope C next and what we're going to do with envelope C is is the, the sound is kind of rising up and if you listen to it at the start you had like a real sort of fast kind of almost ringy type sound and that was this the operator C so how we got that sound was to use some modulation and some LFO on operator C so go to the second LFO here and just apply it to modulate operator C at full 100 and then sync the LFO convert it into a sawtooth take the key scaling and velocity, velocity scaling off key sync the LFO and take the rate up to 84 turn the volume of C up you can hear it a bit better if I turn the volume of the filter off so that's up, uh, up so that's operator C what we can hear there so if we pull this volume back up whilst in the modulation section we can actually apply just a little bit of vibrato to the whole sound so just route that LFO1 straight to the pitch and let's actually take the transpose up by plus 12 just raise the whole sound by one octave which just gives it a kind of brighter sort of tone really so the next thing we can do is set the pitch envelope up to just give us that sort of rise effect okay so what we want to do for this pitch is we wanted the kind of the pitch to bend down slightly and then rise right up so for starters let's apply the envelope amplitude uh, so we get a bit more pronounced effect with this pitch envelope at 62 and tempo sync the pitch envelope and zoom out Let's just drag the end of this out. So the 32 over 4, so 31 over 4 there, just drag the the amount, the envelope out to that point. Check the mode to fix now. Just push the sustain loop up so it kind of once the pitch rises to this level here, it's just going to stay at this level by applying this sustain loop and having that box check there so now the pitch will rise up 
on this sound. So once it rises to this sustain point here, it's just going to stay at that pitch until we let go of the key and then we'll go into the kind of release phase. So what I thought would be cool was to add a kind of slight bend downwards before it sort of rises up. So add another pointer in there and just kind of something like that really and then just put a bit more of a kind of slope on this curve here really so which I thought was pretty cool with the sound so yeah next thing to do is set the filter up so what we can do here is if we take the cut off right down to 8 on filter 1 but they push the resonance up to 33 keep the mode on low pass filter 2 pull the spread down to 0 resonance to 23 and keep the mode again on low pass make sure the routing set up like this it's routed to filter 2 and we're in serial mode so it's basically passing through filter 1 then through filter 2 and applying an envelope amount of 56 and then let's set an envelope in here so we want it looping over this kind of same point really is this pitch envelope so we might as well just save this envelope apply it in here tempo sync this filter envelope and then just set it up slightly differently so pull that sustain off check the motor fixed we want kind of like we want the fil the sound to basically all these operators that are rooted to the filter there's a couple that root straight to the output the ones that root to the filter the sound to kind of like low pass sweep in then out again so using this envelope to do that and setting it up like this we'll get this kind of low pass sweep on the sound <laughs> final things to do really was to control the envelope or the volume here really of operator C the one that's got the the kind of LFO on it because I wanted that sort of to sort of filter in I guess to the sound along with the pitch so with that pitch envelope saved in that slot before let's apply that same envelope to operator C tempo sync this envelope here and then this operator C, that kind of LFO, that sort of ringy type sound is going to sort of fade into the sound as the pitch rises up so and as, this, as all the other operators are filtering back out this is kind of filtering into the sound it's just, just kind of giving that sort of effect or uplift the sound, that kind of extra sort of layer really. So final thing, let's add a peak EQ and just some other effects. So just do some lower mids, some tops. Let's bring out that noise a little bit. Let's add a phaser as well. It'll sound quite cool on this, this type of sound. Sync it, keep the rate of 50. Uh, keep everything else the same and just pull the dry wet down to about a quarter of the way and finally some reverb just push the time up to 70 push the bright up to about 83 treble up to about 65 and we can just push the dry wet up to around 60 as well Let's pull the dryer down, it's a little bit too wet that reverb now. Actually bring a bit more volume back into the sound as well. Use this EQ here. And that's our, our sound put together really, kind of sort of down and uplift the sound.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Um, as always, any questions then please get in touch. And yeah, thanks for watching. All right, cheers, bye.